Peace and blessings. Welcome back to the channel once again, where we talk all things health and healing from a holistic perspective, and today will be no different. Today, we are celebrating a new year, a new chapter in life, a new revolution around the sun. Um, we're celebrating going through the 12 or 13 zodiacs. It is a new year. And I want to say Happy New Year's to you and welcome to 2024. 2024 is going to be a magical year. <clears throat> and I've talked to you guys and especially my tribe members about the importance of numerology, understanding how the universe speaks in numbers. And the number 2024 is a very magical number for a lot of different reasons. When you add the numbers up individually, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4, you get 8. Eight has always been my favorite number. If you flip eight on the side, it's a sign of infinity. Eight is also, a, in numerology, a sign of balance between the spiritual world and materialistic world. Uh, and it is also a number of power and abundance as well, too. If you add the numbers 20 plus 24, you get 44 which is also a very spiritual and powerful number as well too, because it is a sign of not only love, but also spiritual power and development as well too. And 44 just so happened to be the, the new chapter of this spiritual journey that I'm experiencing this year as well too. So 44 is a very powerful number in numerology. So this is going to be a magical year if you are in alignment. And I think that's the really important thing to understand about life. I know that I've heard a lot of people complain about 2023 being a very rough year for them, uh, experiencing a lot of tragedy, experiencing a lot of loss, experiencing a lot of lessons that could be viewed as L's. And I talk about this a lot in my book, Life is My Guru. So if you need some context on how to wrap your mind around that, then Life is My Guru is definitely a book that you need to read if you haven't read it already. But I think what's important to know and understand is about progressing through the spiritual journey that we're having is that when we look back on our lives, it's only for the purposes of looking back for reflection, to pull the lessons out, okay? and to take those lessons and to use them in our current presence, okay? Our current now. Because that's the only way or that's the only place that you can use lessons. You can't use lessons in the past. You can't go back in the past and say, "All right, I learned these lessons from the past and I I need to use them so I can change the future." You can't do that. You can't go into the future and use the lessons that you learn, okay? You can only use the lessons, the wisdom in your now. That's why now is the most powerful moment. And in this moment, it is the first day of 2024. And what I want to do for you with this video, instead of it being my typical, hey, you, if you got this going on, then you do this. What I want to do is give you seven inspirational vitamins that you can use on a daily basis in 2024 that is going to change your entire trajectory. It's going to change how you look at life, which is ultimately going to change your life in general. And I think that's really important for people to understand because I know that people come to my channel to understand how to heal in a more natural, you know, uh, and more holistic approach. But what's important to know, know and understand is the most important thing to healing is your perspective first. And so what I want to do is give you some inspirational vitamins to not only wake up and take every morning in 2024 and moving forward, but also use these inspirational vitamins to change how you think about life. And I do believe if you adopt these seven, these seven inspirational vitamins that I'm about to share with you, your life will be very different. You're going to become that highest version of yourself that you get small glimpses of in small moments. And those moments will stretch into hours and then days and then weeks, months and then years, and it will become who you are. And I think that's what life is all about. 
is figuring out how do we take those moments of greatness and make them our entire life. And it's my hope that these seven inspirational vitamins will do just that for you. So, and before we get started, sharing is caring, okay? Everything I put out to you, this is, this is free information, but it's not free because knowledge is in power. The application of knowledge is power. So I can tell you, I can give you the blueprint for success. But if you have the blueprint and you don't actually apply it to your life, it will be useless. Another thing that's really important is that if you apply this to your life and then don't share with others, then you're going to feel very alone, which is something that a lot of us who are growing spiritually feel. We feel alone. We feel isolated because we start to think different, believe different, and then our experiences become different in life and our abundance becomes more prevalent in life, and then everybody around us is stuck where they are. They are. This is why it's so important to share. Okay, this is what that. This is part of that that beautiful cycle of creation and abundance and manifesting. Is that it's not just for you. Share with those who are in alignment. Share with those who are seeking as well too. So make sure you share this video. And if it's your first video with me, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because if you like this kind of content, then I'll start producing more of this kind of content. And I think that this is the kind of content that takes people from stuck to limitless. Okay? So let's get started. Number one, your number one inspirational vitamin is that you have to change your mindset. You have to start there. You cannot start any other place. You have to change your mindset. And here's why this is so important. It's so important because you have to realize that it is unfortunate, but the society that we live in today, we have literally been programmed to be a shrunken version of ourselves. The way that we're educated the way that we are spoken to grown, growing up, the things that we learn on television, we learn through mu music, movies, etc. If you start to look at the overall theme of all of that programming that we get from the people we love, that we get from strangers, that we get from teachers, that we get from you know people at church, the list goes on and on. If you start to look at the programming, they are literally programming us to be sick, to be overweight, to think that we're never enough, and our lives literally become that. So this is why it's so important. The first thing you have to do is you have to change your mindset first. You have to do that first. Because if you don't change this, everything else is going to be an uphill battle. Because as soon as you start to do the other things, your mind, that program mindset is going to kick in and tell you, hey, why are you doing all this? It's not true. You can't manifest things into your life. Your life is what it is. Okay. And guess what? You're going to do all this work and get disappointed. And then how you're going to feel even worse. That's what happens when you start doing before you change your mindset. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you have to change your mindset to a healing mindset, to an abundance mindset. You have to believe that you're capable and not only capable of manifesting anything that you want in your life, but you first have to believe that you actually deserve it. Okay, and a lot of people will make the assumption that they believe that they deserve everything. But if you do a fair assessment of yourself and look in truth, what you'll find is that in many cases, most of us don't believe we actually deserve it, which is why we get what we get in life. We get what we get because we get exactly what we believe we're capable of achieving. And we get what we get because we that's what we believe we deserve. Not only when it comes to the healing that we want, but the people that are in our lives. We get the girlfriend or boyfriend that we don't want repeatedly because that's what we believe that we deserve. Okay. We get the income that we continue to get because that's what we believe we deserve. Okay. 
And it's so important that we change this. We focus on reprogramming this to a healing mindset, to an abundance mindset. As my man always tells me, your prosperity and your abundance is your birthright. It is something that you have inherited. It was planted in you before you came here. This is the reason why you desire the things that you do. You're desiring them not just because it's a want. You're desiring them because before you even came here, this was something that you told yourself, this is what I need along my journey. This is something that I'm capable of manifesting because when we're only in spiritual form, we only know limitless. When we come into our bodies, we experience limitation. That's the whole process of becoming a human to experience limitation. Now, we're supposed to experience limitation physically, but in terms of like our spiritual limitations, there's no limits, okay? We can manifest whatever it is we want in life, okay? But we lose that recognition of what we're capable of because of all that programming that I talked be about before. So number one, you got to change your mindset. That's the first inspirational vitamin that you got to wake up every day with the program mindset that is in alignment with all of your desires, your wants, and the things that you want to achieve during the spiritual journey. That's number one. You got to start there. All right. Number two, you got to detox your life. You got to detox your entire life. Now, a lot of you know, I have my detox and I'm actually doing my detox right now. This is the Parasite Candida Cleanse. So this is day one for me starting the detox. As you know, I'm doing, I do a 30 day group detox and we got about five, 600 people inside of there and they're doing the detox right now. Herbs are amazing for doing a physical detox. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times we have things that we're attached to. And some of those attachments are voluntary and some of those are involuntary and some of those are conscious and some of those are unconscious. We're not even aware of. But a lot of the things that are in our bodies physically, like parasites, like yeast, these type of things have become a, so attached to us, they're, they're controlling us. Parasites control what you think about. They control what you eat. They control you to the point they can make you itch. They can control you to the point that they'll make you choose a certain kind of food at a certain type time of day as well, too. Physical parasites. But you also have, you know, parasites in the form of people around you who are just taking from you, making your cup empty on a daily basis. We also have parasitic habits and thoughts as well, too. Okay, some of those habits are our food choices. Some of those habits are the conversations that we're choosing to play a part in. And this is why it's so important to look around in our life and see where it's toxic. You know, is my refrigerator toxic? Okay, is the places that I'm going to toxic? Is, you know, the type of music that I'm listening to toxic? Find the toxicity in your life and start letting go. Okay. Surrender. Let those things go that are no longer serving you. This is why I do my detox every three to four months. I do it not just for the physical benefits, because a lot of you know, when you do my detox, you also sometimes feel this spiritual lightness. Okay. A lot of people who do my detox during the detox, they have this very emotional moment where they just cry for no reason. Sometimes there's toxic emotions and feelings that have essentially been swept under the rug. You didn't deal with them. Maybe somebody passed away. Maybe you had a breakup. Maybe there was something you needed to say to get off your heart. You never said it and it became toxic inside of you. And when you do the detox, all of a sudden, all these emotions start flooding out of you. You don't know why you're emotional. You don't know why you're going through it. But after it happens, you feel so much lighter and better, okay? Which is crazy. You you think herbs are just there to remove heavy metals, acidity, mucus, 
fecal waste, those type of things, but they also help with other things as well too. We know that sage, for instance, if you burn sage, sage is supposed to clear the room of any uh, negative spiritual spiritual presence, okay? Sage is in one of my herbal blends, okay? So it's really important to understand you. The second thing you have to do once you change this mindset is you got to stop flooding your life with toxicity. You got to remove people. You got to remove certain kind of foods. You got to remove certain kind of environments. You got to detox your life, okay? And a lot of people's inability to do that their inability to let certain people go because they're in these toxic relationships, okay, where they're trauma bonding, okay? And those people are keeping you where you are at because guess what? When you're in a, a toxic relationship, nobody wants you to no longer be toxic because then they're toxic by them, themselves when you've been trauma bonding with them. You know, so that friend that uh, every time you decide that you're going to eat healthy and you bring a salad and some chickpeas and some healthy food for that day for lunch. And when they meet up and see you with it, they're like, now here you go again. You ain't going to even make it. I already know you're going to eat half of that today. And then you're going to be asking me for some of my food. Yeah, we got people like that. You got to you have to either get to a point where you either have to let that person go or you have to create boundaries, okay? So detoxing your life is a huge, huge part of how you start to push yourself in a trajectory where you're becoming the highest version of yourself. This is why it's so important as an inspirational vitamin to take this vitamin every day and see where there's things that you need to let go that are no longer serving you that are not only no longer serving you, but are now toxic to you. They are making you spiritually, physically, emotionally, and mentally sick, okay? This is why detoxing is absolutely Im imperative if you want to stay on that trajectory because a lot of people will start to take five steps towards the highest version of themselves and then have these toxic moments where it pulls them 10 steps backwards. Okay, so you got to do that. That's the second inspirational vitamin. You have got to detox your life. Okay, let go and surrender the things that are no longer serving you. Okay, number three, you got to surround yourself with greatness. Okay, you got the toxicity out of your life now. Okay, that toxicity has to now be replaced with all the greatness that is aligned with where you want to go, the path in your life. Okay, you can't just get rid of the bad stuff. You got to align yourself with things that are sending your frequency up. Okay, adding vibration to you instead of taking it away. Okay, that's everything from people to food. You can't be eating low vibrational food and wondering why you don't have energy. Okay, wondering why you feel sluggish, why you're fatigued all the time. Okay, so you got to surround yourself with greatness. Everything you put into this vehicle that we call a human body for our spiritual experience has to be greatness that uplifts you to the point where you're getting to the highest version of yourself. So your friends, the people you hang out with at work, the conversations that you're having, the music that you're listening to, the environments that you go into, okay? you If you got a problem with alcohol, don't go to bars, <laughs> I tell people this and they don't understand the importance of committing yourself to yourself to a degree where you don't even put yourself in position to make the mistake or put yourself in a position where people are persuading or coercing you to make the mistake because they want you to be on the same level, level with them. Okay. When people start seeing you trying to go up, you know, it's not that they don't love you. Uh, and uh, in many cases, they want to keep you where they're at because they love your company. And as they say, misery love co loves company. OK, so the important thing about surrounding yourself with great greatness, the third inspirational vitamin is you have to be vigilant and be constantly conscious about where you're going into going to and who you're spending that time with. OK. Because where you're spending your time and who you're spending that time with will determine 
what your 2024 is going to be. Without a doubt, where you spend your time. If I spend most of my time at the gym and I spend most of my time in my creative space being creative and I spend most of my time having positive conversations and I spend most of my time around people who also love to have positive uh, conversations and love to uplift me in the same way that I want to uplift them, then guess what? I can't help but move in toward the direction of greatness. But when I spend my time around people who are constantly always taking and never giving, when I spend my time in environments that make it easy for me to eat horrible food, make horrible choices, when I spend my time in those type of environments, Again, it goes back to what I said before. You can only get what you're getting by what you're choosing in life, okay? All right? It's hugely important. You get what you get in life based upon what I just talked about, okay? So the third inspirational vitamin, you have to surround yourself with greatness in terms of how you think, the people you're around, okay? where you go, the environments that you go into. This is hugely important, all right? Number four, number four, you have to take ownership of your health and your well-being. You have to take ownership of that. I'm not responsible for it. Your doctor is not responsible for it. The FDA is not responsible for it. The CDC is not responsible for it. The EPA is not responsible for it. The hospitals are not responsible for it. The food companies are not responsible for it. And the drug companies are not responsible for your health. You are. You are responsible for your well-being. You are responsible for the things you think. You are responsible for the things that you believe in and you're responsible for what you believe you deserve. Take ownership of it. Stop giving it away. I don't give a damn if they call themselves the Food and Drug Administration. They're not good, doing a very good job of administering it, okay? Because if they would, when you go into the store, the vast majority of the food is toxic. It will kill you, Okay. Medical error is the third leading cause of death, okay? That means they gave the right drug to the right patient at the right time or the right surgery on the right limb, etc., and they still killed the person, okay, or harmed the person or injured the person. So what I'm saying is you have to take ownership of it. It's yours. You're the owner of it. Stop giving it away. Take ownership of your greatness, take ownership of your divinity. They've tricked us into believing that it is, it is not only their responsibility for us to be healthy, but they have tricked us in believing that we have absolutely no power around our well-being or our abundance. Everything is dependent on something outside of ourselves. And the more and more you believe that, you will be incapable of all things that are great. Incapable of all things that are great. So you have to take ownership of your well-being. This is the fourth inspirational vitamin that every day when you wake up and you look in the mirror, you say, hey, I want you to know I'm taking ownership for your well-being today. Every decision that I make. Every decision I make from the thoughts that I choose, the music that I listen to, how I move throughout life, what I eat, what I look at, the people I surround myself with, the environments that I go through, I want you to know I'm going to make a divine choice for you. Look in the mirror and say this to yourself. And what you will begin to, to notice is that you will start to fall in love with yourself because you will feel protected by you. Because on a subconscious level, every time we make the choice to eat something that is toxic for us, to have a, a gossiping conversation surrounded with negativity, to go in environments that we know are harmful for us, to have relationships and friendships with people that aren't serving us, and we have to be inauthentic to do that, okay? That sends a subconscious message to yourself that not only 
do I hate me, but also I don't care about me. Okay? So this is why it's so important. We have to take ownership. Because when you take ownership, it's, it's the equivalent of saying, I got you. I love you. I have compassion for you. I have grace for you. I'm making choices that you can feel protected by. Okay? Number five, stop shrinking so that others will feel more comfortable with themselves. Stop shrinking yourself by doing things like not saying something when you're supposed to say something. Okay? Stop shrinking yourself when you get good news and not sharing it because you're around people that when you share good news, they don't feel happy for you. Stop doing that. Those aren't people you need to be around. When you, every time you shrink, it does not serve the world and then it does not serve your purpose. It is an abomination to your divinity. Your divinity is sitting within you, bursting with capability and potentiality and the ability to create beyond any scale that you can even believe that is possible for yourself. And to watch you inten intentionally shrink yourself by not saying something, not doing something, not being something, every day, every moment that you do, you become smaller and smaller and smaller and you get further and further away from your divine self. So every moment, Every day that you wake up makes you pop this inspirational vitamin that I am no longer shrinking. I am no longer shrinking so that others will feel comfortable around me. I'm going to live in my greatness. If my greatness, if my truth offends anyone, that is more of a representation of who they are and where they at and not a reflection of myself. Okay, so you got to live by that inspirational vitamin. Number five, stop shrinking so that others will feel comfortable. Okay, number six, number six, make daily deposits for your health. Daily deposits. Don't make self-care something that you do when something breaks down. Make daily deposits. I tell people all the time, I look at my health in the form of a bank account. You're either making daily deposits or you're making withdrawals. And most people are making so many withdrawals at some point, their account overdrafts and it goes into the negative. And this is what we call dis-ease. This is what we call dis-ease. It is a lack of self-care, it's a lack of attention and it's a lack of consideration and compassion for self. That's what dis-ease is, okay? So we got to get to a point where we're constantly making daily, if not hourly, deposits into our health, inspiring ourselves, motivating ourselves, checking ourselves. As they say, if you don't check yourself, you're going to wreck yourself. It's so important that we make these daily deposits every day. So when you get up every day, figure out how you're going to move, aka exercise. Figure out what you're going to accomplish for the day. Figure out what you're going to eat that's going to add more life to you, okay? Figure out where you're going to be spending your time and who you're going to be spending your time with. Figure out how this page in the chapter of your life, how you're going to write it and look back on it and say, that was a good page. This is what you need to do on a daily basis. How much water am I going to be drinking? How much fiber I'm going to get in the form of plants? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do my green smoothie. Yeah, I need a green juice. Okay? This is what you need to be doing every day. Inspirational vitamin number six. Make daily deposits in your health. Remember, health is the highest form of wealth. Without it, nothing is possible. With it, everything is in your divine alignment. Okay? And the final one, number seven. Do shadow work. You got to do the shadow work. Work shadow work. Shadow 
our shadows are the parts of ourselves that we've disowned, disconnected from, and swept under the rugs. It's the parts of ourselves we think are ugly, that are not deserving, that we want nobody to know about, and that we do not want to do any work on, okay? And those are the parts of ourselves, those dark parts of ourselves. That is the boundary between you being who you are right now and you being your divine self. That's part of why we're still here. That's why you're still here in 2024. The whole purpose is to do the work, to do the healing, not the job, okay? We all got to clock in. We all got to, you know, make an income. I'm talking about the spiritual work that you're here for. We're not here to just work for 40 years, retire at 65, and then wait to die by 74. That's not why we're here. We're here to do the work, the spiritual work. Okay. And that the shadow parts of ourselves is that spiritual work. I always tell people all the time, we're not trying to heal, you know, the 30 year old, the 40 year old versions of ourselves. We're trying to heal that eight year old version of ourselves that was picked on and bullied, that never got the love and attention that they needed from their parents. And as a result, felt neglected and abandoned, who was possibly molested or you know, uh, uh, or uh, possibly, you know, grew up in an environment that was unsafe, okay? That's who we're always trying to heal. And as a result, what we see as adults is only the byproduct of that lack of healing that we didn't, ex didn't get when we were a child. So how we act out as adults is really just the result of that lack of healing or those unresolved traumas we experience as a child, okay? And so it's important for us to do the shadow work. You gotta dig up the parts of yourself that you've disowned, the dark parts of yourself. They always say it's all about light, okay? Yeah, light is awareness. And the beautiful thing about awareness being light is that when you bring light or awareness to our, the dark parts of ourselves, Light eliminates darkness. So you can't just sweep it into the darkness. You got to add light, which is awareness. And that awareness is what's going to start the healing process for you. Okay, so those are your seven inspirational vitamins for 2024. I want you to commit yourself to it because you deserve what's on the other side of all the healing and all the commitment that you're going to do on a daily basis to get to being that divine highest version of yourself. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you'll share this with somebody that you love. Promise me that you'll share this with at least 10 people the minute after you actually see this video. Share with at least 10 people. And if it changes only one person's life, we can change thousands. Until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed.